Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel Arthur Gaming. Okay, in today's video, I want to explain about our newest cheer, tactical belt. But first, I'm going to divide the chip based on the ranks like S tier, A tier, B tier, and C tier. S tier is the chip that you should try to get no matter what. They are absolutely strong. A tier means they are good and only overshadowed by S tier chip. B tier means the chip is very situational. They can be good, but not on most situation. C tier means the chip doesn't really have much effect, but still can be useful for something. Okay, I'm gonna make PVE tier list first, and then PVP tier list. Starting from S tier, the first chip that I really love from the first side is this one. Courage mount as the battle progresses. After entering battle, you get 2.8 damage bonus every 1.5 seconds up to 11% damage bonus so from 0 to maximum you only need 4 seconds to enjoy 11% damage bonus and this effect is permanent as long as you stay in combat which is almost every time in that high you will always in combat this chip is absolutely S tier next on S tier is crit combo after a crit hit in the next 6 seconds, your crit chance is increased by 13% and crit damage by 5%. Triggers once every 10 seconds. The good thing about this chip is that you only have 4 seconds window where you don't have the bonus. But after that 4 seconds, this chip can activate again. Actually, this chip is S tier for pay to win. But A or B tier for free to play as they hardly crit at all in higher floor of that high, rendering the chip useless. But if you have high critical change, this chip is S tier. Next on S tier, we have Concentrated Strike. Yes, this chip is free, but it gives us what we need. The effect is very nice. When your HP is above 70%, you will get 10% damage bonus. Next on S tier, we have Simple Loadout. Magazine capacity and maximum ammo is reduced by 15%, but firing rate is increased by 6%. This is amazing, even though your ammo is reduced. Because you can dish out damage faster, and usually, player will bring 2 or 3 guns at the same time. Having lower magazine is not a problem, as you can reload all together with ammo box. Another S tier chip for PvE is Fearless Warrior. This chip is pretty straightforward. It gives you damage bonus but reduces your damage reduction by 8%. In PvE, we need damage, 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 and damage. And this chip will always active even though you are dying, so this is very good for PvE. And that's all S tier list for PvE. Now we are moving on A tier list. First, in A tier, we have Thunderstrike. This chip is A tier because it only boosts your headshot damage. If you don't headshot, there is no damage bonus for you. And besides, we will have to shoot boss bubbles in that high. And this chip will not give you damage bonus for that. And the bonus it gives is only 13%. If only it's 20%, then it's S tier. But in PvP, this chip can stun your enemy even with LSS for 1 second. But in PvP, it's also harder to shoot your enemy head. So it's not that good, but also not that bad. Next we have Chaos Fighter on A tier. This chip is amazing for FO or Rebel since there are 4 players giving you a total of 8% damage bonus. And it's free, but for PvE like that high, this chip is not good. It will only activate 2% damage bonus. Next is Fighting Master. This chip is only good for warriors, but even so, you get damage bonus on your third hit. Means on your first and second hit, you get nothing. That's why Corret Mount as a battle is better. Why the heck the name is so long, game? Anyway, this chip is A tier. And on the last A tier, we have Tactical Reload. Reload speed is increased by 8%. After reloading, you get 11% damage bonus and 5 accuracy. Last for 5 seconds. Again, in PvE, we will mostly reload through ammo box and this chip will not activate its effect if you reload from ammo box. Sure, you can use jump roll to activate it, but in that high, especially if you're bugging the boss, totally useless. And it only lasts for 5 seconds. I rather take fearless warrior or concentration than this. Those are A tier chip for PvE and now we are moving on tier B. These chips aren't trash. It's just that they are very situational to be useful. First, we have Invincible. 
This chip is on B tier. The bonus it gives is really nice. You get 7% critical chance and critical damage, but only affect target that is above 65% HP. On high floors of that high, it could be useful for some situations. Next, we have Calm Attack. Increase bullet damage dealt to enemy torso by 10%, but the damage of headshot is reduced by 10%. I rather take concentration than this, since it boosts damage to headshot or body. This chip works well with flamethrower or biotic howie as they hit body. But still, there is other chip who can perform better without sacrificing headshot damage. If you don't have better chip, you can use this. Next, we have the shorter, the riskier. This chip is for warrior. It boosts your melee damage by 8% and reduces your energy consumption by 5%. I still rather take courage mount or crit combo or concentration or chaos fighter or fearless warrior than this. Next on B tier we have long range strike. When attacking enemies beyond 200, crit chance is increased by 10% and headshot by 5%. This is 200 meters if you want to know. This chip is really meant to be for snipers. On PvP, I would put this chip higher tier, but on PvE, this chip is B rank at best. Because most of the time, even as sniper, you won't shoot enemies beyond 200. And also, the bonus it gives is only crit chance, not damage bonus. Those are all for B tier. Now we moving on C tier. First in C tier we have crippling shoot. Within 6 seconds after entering battle, damage bonus is increased by 10%. But that's it. If you don't go out from combat, you won't get the damage bonus again. So the 10% bonus is only for the first 6 seconds after you entering the combat, which is not good. Next is Control Master. No need to explain actually, this chip is really useless for PvE because Zombie doesn't have health or sanity. Next we have Desperate Counter Attack. Gains 8% damage bonus while you are seriously injured aka bleeding. When you bleeding, you should heal, not attack. Even in PvP, mostly we should run when bleeding, not attack. Let's say we have 2k HP, we will only get 200 HP back which is probably died to one shot of Bioti Howie. Next is Battlefield Recovery. Restore 15% HP after defeating an enemy player, totally not for PvE. Next is Special Forces Expert. This chip reduces the cooldown of your special bullets after reloading for PvE as well. Okay, that's all for the PvE tier list. Now we are moving on to PvP tier list. There is not much different for S tier. I would like to add tactical reload to S tier because we can use jump roll to reload. And we still get damage bonus and accuracy. Especially if you are using assault rifle, you will need accuracy so the enemy will not misdirect your attack. And invisible, I would give this S minus or A plus because the effect is not enough to be S, but definitely better than A rank. In PvP, where player have shields, mostly player HP will always above 65%. Means you really can deal a lot of damage to them, providing you can crit. If you cannot crit, then this chip is useless. That's why it's not good enough to be S tier. And Fearless Warrior will have to go down to A tier because in PvP you will also need defense and this chip reduce your damage reduction by 8%. Control Master would definitely go up to A tier at the very least because in PvP health matters a lot and this chip will definitely be annoying Especially now you can get damage bonus when you attack player with 40% health or sanity. Now on the last one, Battlefield Recovery would also go up from C tier to B tier. Because if you are really strong, you can actually be immortal as long as you keep killing enemies in PvP. But the chances are pretty low and very situational. That's why this chip is on B tier. 
So this is what it looks like for PvP tier list. Oh and by the way, this tier list only for same level chip. Only for same level chip. So for free to play who cannot get premium chip, don't worry. If your premium chip on the level 1, you better off with level 10 advanced chip because the effect will be higher. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.